see that you guys need to make defensively um, initially, and, and also maybe do you expect Tristan to get more involved uh, in game two? Uh, just take care of the ball, limit uh, a lot of our mistakes. Um, you know, they capitalize on a few of them, so we understand we can't turn the ball over as many times and, um, and expect a, a great uh, result for us. So uh, we'll be locked in. Uh, we understand that uh, there is, we could play a lot better. Um, so that's just a realization. Um, you watch film, you go from there, and the focus level uh, will definitely be at an all-time high as it was in game one. But um, a lot of the things that we wanted to stick to in our game plan, we have to make sure that we're executing that. Go ahead. Joe, next. Kyrie, we've talked a bunch uh, about how this series is so much different from last year because of, of Durant and all those things. But you did lose game one last year. Can you draw anything from the experience of being down 1-0 between 1 and 2 and just how you approach this one and how you handle it and all of those kinds of things? Uh, well, obviously, you can use the experience that you had last year. Uh, as well as the year before. I mean, we took, we took game, uh, they took game one the last three years. So, um, you know, we obviously uh, know that there are some things that we can correct. Um, and going from game one to game two, obviously uh, game one, highly anticipated, um, you know, been off for a while, and now we finally get back into some game action. Um, you know, we just got to settle in. That's all. I, before the final started, I said the team that settles in the quickest will definitely have uh, game one. I mean, you just saw how the intensity and the physicality that they were playing at, uh, they jumped on us after halftime. So um, definitely think some uh, things that we as a team um, can control and we need to control those things and, and do it at a, a very high level um, and be willing to uh, be as best prepared for the unexpected as well. I mean, they're going to make shots. They're going to make some some tough plays. Um, it's our ability to respond that will dictate how game two goes. So. And then do you as you try to move on from game one, get ready for this one, do you almost take solace in the fact that your team collectively didn't really play well? Like you had a tough night on the scoreboard, but there's so many things you did wrong. Does that almost make you feel better as you size up the challenge and, and you know, what you need to do? Uh, well, we don't want to basically put it to, you know, obviously we know we could play better uh, collectively, and we want to play better, and we will. Um, we understand the driving forces uh, behind this team and what we need. And, uh, you know, the important part is continually giving that energy and continually being uh, that motivation for them. And, uh, you know, if you, we got a few guys that are their, fir their first finals. So, um, you know, we just got to welcome, in, welcome them into it and understand that this is same, still the same game. It's at a totally different level, um, but it's still us. And, and what we can control, we need to. So uh, we'll be all right. Chris in the back. Kyrie, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. You've talked all year about how you want to play with pace, and you put that on yourself to try and create that. The you Warriors said, wait, wait, want Would you say, repeat that one more time? About pace. You've pace, said all yeah, yeah. year how great you guys are when you play with pace. But the Warriors want to play fast, too, and they got the, the game at their, their speed in game one. How do you balance your desire to play fast and not allow it to turn into a track meet like game one? Uh, well, one, it would be nice to... Uh, to come in and, and get a rebound or two that I could push the break. Uh, you know, guarding Steph out on the perimeter, most of those rebounds that are coming, I mean, you saw Bron and K-Love were eating them up uh, on the board. So, um, you know, a, a few things that, uh, you know, that, you, that I can control in terms of picking up that pace, um, but more or less we got to get stops in the half court and understand that the play doesn't just stop when the shot goes up with these guys. They're tipping out basketballs and they're getting it back to their shooters and they're relocating on three-point line. So um, if we limit them to one shot per possession, we can control the pace a lot better and honestly pay, play, still play at a high tempo. I mean, we're both high tempo teams, but, um, you know, they play running to the three-point line as well as going for dunks. We can play at a high tempo as well as in transition and in half court. So we just have to continue to do that and do those things at a very high level. Be all right. Alvaro standing here on the right. Kyrie Alvaro Martino of ESPN. On transition defense, you're up against a great trans transition offense, obviously, in Golden State. But beyond assignment and technique mistakes, what was the discussion in terms of effort on transition defense? You said effort? Effort, yes. Uh, well, we can control that. So 
uh, that's definitely something that uh, has to be on all our minds. Um, and and this is definitely going to be a track meet <laughs> between both teams. So um, depending on how many of those little things are we willing to do and sacrifice will dictate if, if we win the game or not. Um, you know, getting back, taking, uh, you know, away some of the easy baskets that they got in game one, uh, it'll be a different game. Danny in the front. Ky Kyrie, along those lines, um, Ty and Kevin just spoke a little bit about stopping the ball being the, the number one priority, but also getting to the shooters. I mean, how do you guys kind of do both of those things well so Kevin doesn't go for, for uncontested? Uh, effort. Okay. Effort. Yep. And our, uh, and our ability to make sure that when we're mismatched in transition, that the only thing that matters is stopping the basketball and honestly settling them down in the half court, and then we match up from there. On the left side, Bill. Bill Livingston, Plain Dealer. You guys are so good in isolation. Is that some way you can slow them down, or do you not want to go to that that often because sometimes it, it bogs you down too? Uh, well, we don't want to take away from our abilities that make us special as a team. Um, but we also understand that uh, they're doing a great job of guarding our isolation with other bodies. So they have uh, different guys that they're helping off of, and we just got to be aware of that and uh, be willing to to make those passes to our shooters, and they'll be ready to knock them down. So. Any other questions for Kyrie? Last one right here, Marla. Marla, right now our Akron Beacon Journal. The physicality, do you have to s come out with that from opening tip? I mean, is it mindset or? Uh, well, we definitely have to come out with that uh, if we have any chance. But the team that's going to win, win that battle is who can sustain it for the longest. So, um, you know, we want to be that team. I mean, the Warriors seem to think they have some guys they didn't have last year who might, you know, bring that even more. Did you notice that it was different? No. Okay. Thank you.